are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Hercules! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Grinton, you're losing the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Liv. Just missed with the left there. Oh, what a punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Misses with that punch. You can 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. Big kick land. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Powerful leg kick lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Oh, nice. Big punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. What? Right there by Lee. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, and he tagged him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Big leg kick land. Swing and a miss. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. First round winding down here. Big kick land. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> round two next. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick.
have hurt him a little bit. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. That doesn't happen very often. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and show. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Just unable to quite find that range. Punch there by Lee. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Great timing on that beautiful takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I mean, that right hand landed square. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here. Oh. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your couple. Big kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Throws the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself. It's a oh, big like a big nice shot there. He's that's hit. unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Such a fast leg kick. Right under the elbow, the body keeps All right, single collar tie now. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He lands flush with that right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Just out of range with the uppercut. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Slowing down tonight. 
big fall from Swiss lands. Now he gets back to range. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Clyde throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big head kick there. Knee to the body. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Way to hide that leg kick. Cable in. Oh, oh, what a hit he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Nice body. Great punch, Lance. This fight's gonna be What a great way to mix up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent. That'll do it! And that'll do it! Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush full force. Beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.